this is something Tobias could handle? See yourself out the door. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around with a board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. Catherine is tied up with other matters and I don't want her bothered. I told her I'd be sending my best fixer. Try and play the part. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Don't go looking for anything, except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. We're now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. a little closer to you. Want to make a run with me to Stella Bay? Uh-huh. You blind, fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Oh. She just, uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. I'll be sure to remember that, fella. Wanna tell me what you need? Well? I'm half listening. you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia.
Found it on a corpse, huh? If you killed Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her. Not me. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. I do like your gumption. But let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? I'm a doctor, not a vet. But what's the worst that could happen? I shall leave the details to you. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I, I think I know how to do that? N no, I can do that. I think. Yes. Mostly? Definitely. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed worst king of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be-handsomely-paid son-of-a-bitch who's gonna get it for me. Guess you've got it figured out, then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the Dry Goods and Sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be.
So let's uh, continue our quest, which is I have no what, I need what. Hell yeah. Okay, so uh, what am I supposed to do here again? Enter the secret lab. Hmm. I guess Tito. Ah, here we go. Supervisor override. <laughs> Zero stock. Okay, let's check out the secret lab. Wow. Here we are. Secret lab. If this place was abandoned, how come it still smells like sweetener and despair? Hmm. A robot. How oh, nice. No, nope, can't get through that door. Uh, let's get rid of chunks. Stop it. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Weapons primed. Engaging. We got the job. Alright, straight to the course. Alright, here we are.
Yeah, a, lot, a little looting along the way. Doesn't hurt, I guess. I hope. Whoa. That's a lot of enemies. So. Watch your step, Captain. Ouch. I guess he's in that room. to do it. easy to be true. Okay, so I suppose this is the path. Whoa, hello. Ladies, let me see. So, is that a way? Nope, that terminal. Let's take a look here.
She's dead? <laughs> okay. My bad. Alright. Let's go do the uh, quest. Let me take a look-see. Okay, I'm thinking if I patch this into our fuel cell network, we can use the empty tanks to hold this Ulta what a biddle stuff. Just gotta compensate for the pressure difference. We burn liquid reaction mass, not gas, and the cells are distributed all through the hull, so I gotta isolate the empties. Of course I did, Captain. Just gave it a little jiggle. There we are. Good as pretty and twice as new. Oh, I just... just did my thing. You know. Hey, take the compliment. You did the work. Alright. Alright, here we go. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. A hundred twenty-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. <laughs> <laughs> 